hope. This week we are looking at hope. In Proverbs 13 verse 12 it says hope deferred makes the heart sick but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. In this past season that we've been in we've had so much deferred hope and I want to remind you today of the hope that we have in Jesus. The first deferred hope I want to deal with is that we were alone. So often we felt alone and especially in this last season where we were having to homeschool alone, whether we had to work from home alone, we weren't even allowed to be in hospital and have visitors. There were so many opportunities for us to feel alone. And I want to tell you, the Bible never wanted us to strive or be by ourselves, to do things in our own strength. But we have this promise that can restore hope, that we are never alone. Let's read together in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 7 and 8. It says, Then Moses summoned Joshua. He said to him, with all Israel watching, Be strong, take courage. You will enter the land with this people, this land that God promised their ancestors that he'd give them. You will make them the proud possessors of it, God is striding ahead of you. He's right there with you. He won't let you down. He won't leave you. Don't be intimidated. Don't worry. Maybe you are still in a season of feeling alone. Maybe you feel God hasn't seen you or forgotten you. Today, I'm here to restore your hope to remind you that God is with you, that He goes and strides before you in your future, that He wants you to succeed and know that He hasn't forgotten about you. Don't worry. Don't feel left out. Don't feel alone. Allow Him to restore that hope in you today and watch your life start to bloom in that tree of life. Can I pray for you this morning? Father, I pray for my friend that feels alone, that you come alongside them, that you remind them that they have been seen, that you have never left them, you've never forsaken them, that they can place their future in your hands and know that you are leading them and guiding them and restoring their hope, that they will feel your presence around them today, that they will never feel alone again. In Jesus' name I pray this. Amen. Always remember, you are highly favoured and deeply loved.